Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about the wonderful Jean Harlow and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is a channel where I talk about all things vintage, fashion, and beauty. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below if you love those things. Also, please don't forget to follow me on my new Instagram account, Dahlia's in the Attic. I also link that below. All right, let's jump right in and talk about Jean Harlow and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. Jean Harlow was born on March 3rd, 1911 and died tragically on June 7th, 1937. She was an American film actress and sex symbol of the 1930s. Harlow was only on the screen from 1928 to 1937 before her death at age 26. She became one of the biggest movie stars in the world, whose image in the public eye has still endured today. She was often nicknamed the Blonde Bombshell and Platinum Blonde, and she was very popular for her laughing vamp persona. Howard Hughes. So Jean Harlow signed with the billionaire producer Howard Hughes, who directed her first major appearance as a sex symbol in the film Hell's Angels in 1930. In 1932, after a series of critically unsuccessful films, Howard Hughes started to lose interest in her career and MGM bought out Harlow's contract. Harlow's popularity rivaled and soon surpassed that of other MGM colleagues including Joan Crawford and Norma Shear. Harlow died during the filming of MGM's Saratoga in 1937, and the studio was, uh, was able to complete the film by using body doubles, and it was released a little over a month after Harlow's death. So, Jean Harlow died of a flu as well as a gallbladder infection. It's really sad that that happened. I feel like oh, it only happened back then due to the lack of modern medicine, and I guess they didn't know that she had the flu earlier in the year, so it's really sad that she died at such a young age. Jean Harlow was known for her platinum blonde hair, and I happened to discover her hair care routine online. So Jean Harlow would wash her hair every three days, and she would use Kirk's Castile Soap, and this Kirk's Soap is from 1839, and it's kind of a coconut-based soap. And it's made with 100% natural ingredients. It's also non-GMO and cruelty-free. So this soap has been around for a very long time. And I think it would probably be really nice on your hair and skin. I'm really excited to try it. And I just think it's really interesting because it's such an old business and it's still family owned and it's been around since 1839. And I think it's pretty cool that Jean Harlow used Kirk's soap to wash her hair and she would do that um, every three days and then once she washed her hair with Kirk's soap she would use just plain white vinegar to rinse off her hair. I've used apple cider vinegar on my hair before and it does make it super shiny and soft so I'm assuming the regular vinegar kind of has the same effect because she was known for having really shiny platinum hair so I can imagine the vinegar would be really good for that and this vinegar has been around since 1898, so there's a good chance she most likely used this brand of vinegar for her hair. For her makeup, Jean Harlow loved Max Factor. She also loved Guerlain as well as Maybelline. So I discovered that Guerlain is one of the first ever beauty brands to come up with like a bronzing powder. And Guerlain has been around for a very long time, since the 1800s. They make these beautiful bronzing powders, and I can just see her using these to bronze her face. And there's a terracotta light, which is like a natural warm hue. And just look at it, it looks Art Deco 1930s, just the design of it is just stunning. And I can just picture her wearing both of these, they're just beautiful bronzing powders, and she loved Guerlain. And her favorite perfume was also by Guerlain, and it's Mitsuko. This is a beautiful fragrance, and it has been around since 1919. The name is derived from a female Japanese name, 
And the notes include bergamot, peach, rose, iris, clove, and jasmine. And its base notes are vevetier, oak moss, and labdenum. And I quite like the bottle. It just, this is one of my favorite vintage bottles. It just looks like it's from the 1930s or 1920s. It's just beautiful. It kind of has that Art Nouveau look to it. It looks like they kept the original shape, which I love. It's just so unique. And it smells really good. It's one of my favorites. It kind of reminds me of Jicky a little bit, as well as Chanel number no. 5. It's very light and it settles quite nicely. I really like how it settles. It kind of goes on and it kind of, I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but I just think it's really neat that she wore this perfume and it just has a beautiful scent once it settles. I can smell the kind of rose and the clove, which gives an in interesting contrast against the peach. She loved Maybelline and she would use the Maybelline Cake Mascara and I have happened to have a vintage one from the early 1920s so there is a very good chance she owned this exact same box by Maybelline and I thought that was very interesting as well. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this video. Do you have a favorite Jean Harlow movie and have you tried any of these products? I'm really excited to use the Kirk soap and experiment with the bronzing powder. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!